medical history is made right here in Philadelphia. A world first at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania, the first robot assisted spinal surgery. Health reporter Stephanie mm -hmm. Stallings here to show us an amazing breakthrough. Yeah, this is really amazing, guys. You know, this was an incredibly complicated, difficult surgery and risky. The patient could have been paralyzed. The tumor on his spine had to come out in one piece. Well, the team at Penn had a groundbreaking solution. It's sobering. Noah Pernikoff is amazed to see what surgeons did to save his life. I kind of think it's an unbelievable story. And historic. Noah is the first patient in the world to have robotic assisted spinal surgery to remove a rare tumor in his neck. This is a really small space that you had to work in. It's a small space surrounded by critical tissues. Dr. Neil Malhatra, a neurosurgeon at Penn, put together a team of specialists to remove the tumor in a three-part, two-day surgery that spanned 20 hours. It sounded like it was out of a science fiction movie. The star was the transoral robot designed by Dr. Bart O'Malley. My hands can't get down into the throat. But with these robotic arms, you can get into the throat and do the surgical procedure. The robotic arms that include a camera are inserted through the mouth. Dr. O'Malley, sitting at a console, manipulates them with hand controls. See how they can move around like your wrists move? The robotic arms perform intricate maneuvers in a tiny space, for Noah's case, exposing the spine through the back of his neck. So the, the excitement about the robot is it allows us to do the operation with less trauma, less collateral damage. The operation started with an incision in the back of Noah's neck to stabilize the spine and isolate the tumor. Then, using the robot, it's removed. The third phase reconstructs the spine. Pain in the neck? Yeah. Well, it's Front bit. and back or both? Both. Ten months later, Noah has some neck stiffness and occasional difficulty swallowing, and there's this scar on his neck. Kids, kids focus on it all the time. They ask me why I have a belly button in my neck. A battle scar for defeating cancer with the help of some revolutionary medical intervention. And that's exciting to be part of a technology development, but most importantly, it's exciting and it feels great to see a patient like Noah go through something that was horrific and look so well and, and do so well from that. Now that robot is routinely used for throat cancer surgery. It was the first time it was used for Noah's kind of cancer that is located at the top of his spine. Mm. And this brings new hope for other patients who have that kind of cancer. And how about that technology and those doctors? We're all watching that with our jaws on the desk. It was amazing. Wow, that's and, and he looks great. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, thanks Steph. Evan.